Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody and welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Torch and Crown Brewing. This is their uninvited guest. It's a double IPA coming in at eight and a half percent alcohol by volume and they said it was put in the can on 0512221 May the 12th. 2021 Plain Jane 16 ounce silver can with a stick on label. Uh, these guys are up in New York. It says uh, on Untapped, it's a double dry hopped double IPA with Mosaic Motica and Mosaic Cryo hops. So, uh, sounds tasty. Uh, we shall see. So, uh, no IBUs are given, so it does have the date on the can and the ABV on the can. That's the two things I look for anyway. So, Open it up, get it into the glass, see what we got here. Not too hazy coming out, a little bit, but I don't know if I would consider it a New England style, and they're not claiming that on the can. Slightly hazy. All right. About two fingers of head on that pour. It definitely looks hazy in the glass, guys, but I can see the light very easily through the thin part of the glass down here. Not quite to the New England style. I would say it's a hazy double IPA. Uh, definitely a pretty decent looking beer, though. To the nose we go. Yep, definitely got a nice hop aroma. Nice citrusy notes. Hint of pine, grapefruit. Maybe a little bit of oranges in there. Smells pretty good. Got a very pleasant aroma. Very nice. Very nice. Let's dive in. Cheers. Very nice. That's a pleasant beer. Very well done. Alcohol seems to be well hidden for an eight and a half percent. Doesn't seem boozy to me at all. And again, I tell you this a thousand times, guys. It all depends on what you're used to drinking, what you like to drink, uh, and where your palate is. Uh, if you're used to drinking four and a half, five percenters, uh, you're probably going to detect a little more alcohol than this guy. Uh, so. does have a little bit of bitterness to it, but nothing overpowering. It's not super bitter. That's a tasty beer, guys. Uh, swirly swirl one more time. I'm hoping we can get it all in there. It's going to be close. Gonna be very close, so yeah, we got her. We got her in there. It's in the glass. All right, guys, it's right out of the fridge. Let's sip on it for a while and let it come up to room temperature and see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for quite a while now. It's definitely up to room temperature. Nice slicing is left on the glass. It's a tasty beer, guys. I won't take anything away from it. It's a well-made beer. Alcohol is well hidden. Nice hop aroma and taste. An enjoyable beer. This is worth picking up. Giving it a try if you can get your hands on it. Uh, I enjoyed it. Very nice. Final chug.
Tasty. That is a very tasty beer. Guys, to me, 90, A minus, dates on it, ABV is on it. A pleasant beer to drink. Uh, very tasty. Uh, beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed at all. And uh, probably a new release. Uh, so, uh, because Untapped only has 191 ratings on it. So, uh, probably something they just introduced uh, last month in May. Uh, so, guess what it is there, guys. Uh, and they have it at 4.08, which is also in their A minus scale. So, I'm in agreement with Untapped on this one. Tasty beer, A minus. Worth picking up? I would definitely buy this beer again. It's, uh, it's worth giving it a try if you haven't you can get it uh, so uh, and like I said they're out of New York and I picked it up here in Virginia so uh, they got some distribution going on so uh, if you see this one the uninvited guests from Torch and Crown Brewing let me know what you think if you've had it and until we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge